<laughs> Welcome to the third edition of Talk Death, Bodies and Forensic Science with Vidal Herrera. Hi, Vidal. Hi. Well, uh, also from our blog, uh, Arthur wants to know uh, maybe a bit of a morbid question, but uh, what's the worst state of a body, uh, either decomposition or due to an accident, um, that you've had to perform an autopsy on? And um, when that happens, what are, what are the challenges? Well, the most common is when you have a, a person that's burned beyond recognition in a fire, a car accident, plane accidents. Uh, it's basically based on DNA, dental records, and that's it. Cases where we have, we've exhumed for body, for identification, for paternal reasons, uh, we've exhumed bodies up to 30, 40 years. And the, the smell is quite different than a regular decomposed body, because there's a difference between a human being and an animal and a body that's been uh, in, the, in the ground for 20, 30 years. That's super, that's super interesting. Um, do, do you want to elaborate on that? Uh, it's like almost too, like there's so many questions I have, but maybe they're too morbid. Okay, let's move on then. <laughs> when, we, when, we do, when we do an exhumation, when we arrive at a cemetery, we have to take a, a fo exterior photograph of the actual cemetery, the address, and then when you go into a cemetery, they have little streets. It's like a regular neighborhood. You take the photograph of the street, the curved number where the, 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 the Gravesite is located. We have a marker at the gravesite. You photograph that. We have to take a sample of soil to make sure that is the correct soil. Then, when they dig, they remove the date, open the tomb, they remove the casket. And if it's been inundated with water, which just happens all the time, and the, they say that they're, they're waterproof and they're not. That's just a, a, a business ploy. Uh -huh. we, remove the, we open up the casket and there's fungus. Can't even see the body. It's a layer of blanket of fungus, and then you go through that. It's a series of photographing, and you actually remove the body. And many times we do the autopsy right there next to the gravesite on the floor. Wow. We use battery operated equipment because it's almost impossible to get an extension cord or a generator out there. So that's what we do. And then you deal with the smell, you deal with the bodies, and you just don't even think about it. You just have to go forward and you do what you do. Yeah. What's the what's the the reason that, that that you end up having to do that most often? Yeah, like give us an example of maybe most when you have to do that. Most of the is for B, DNA because of paternity. There's money involved, inheritance. Like here, because we're in Southern California, Hollywood, uh, many former record executives, entertainments, they have money, and they have illegitimate children, and they they want some money, so they have to prove this in fact is their is their loved one. Oh, that that's. It's really sad, actually. I feel like to disrupt a grave like that for money, that's unfortunate. Well, if, if you were to die and all of a sudden somebody tells you you have a long lost uncle and there's a millions of dollars, it's gonna draw some interest. Yeah. 